welcome to another class in visual basic programming today we are going to see a very interesting program known as the vending machine right so so you have to pretend that this is going to be a vending machine and you are going to take chocolates from these vending machines so how are we going to do it let's see okay this is a part a program right this is going to be the vending machine this is going to be the graphical uh, structure you can say or the design of the vending machine so what do you have in this vending machine you have some chocolates so i have these four chocolates how did i get them so i have used something known as an image box so click on this and then draw here okay you get the image box so go to the picture property and choose the picture whichever wherever you have stored these pictures so i've downloaded some of these pictures so it could doesn't have to be chocolates it could be any item which you wanted to keep it in the vending machine right vending machines we see it in malls airports and these places all right the same thing we are trying to simulate it here in vb okay so the first new control which i have used here is going to be my image box this is called as my image box so there is one property which you should remember that is your picture property which i have used change that picture property and i have got these chocolates here right so the second most important control that we have used here is going to be the option button so we have used option buttons so i have used four option buttons option one option two option three option four right so how does the option button look like let us execute and see this is how it looks like i can click on this and choose any one of the option button so always remember option buttons you can only choose one in a group you cannot choose more than one so in situations when wherein you cannot choose more than one option you have to use these option buttons if you want to choose more than one then you have to use check box right so that is a control this is the check box control right so more than one multiple choice then you have to use this particular checkbox more than one if you wanted to choose so if you only wanted the user to choose only one option in the given options then you have to use the option buttons right so one property of the option button that you have to remember is known as the value property so the value property can be true or false so if i click on that particular button the value becomes true if i leave it like this blank then it is false so i will show you again this is your option button you can see all the options or values of the option buttons are false so for example i am clicking on the dairy milk so now the option button's value is true so whichever i click that becomes true so if you see a dot like this then it is true value is true otherwise the value is false false so that is all about your option buttons that is one uh, property which is very important that you should remember apart from that there is also the caption property which is there for all the controls so here you can see so you can know what is the option that you have chosen if for example if option 3 dot value is equal to true if option 3 is value is equal to true then option 3 is caption is munch that is the chocolate you have picked so you will know that using this caption property right so we are going to use it in the program that's why i am telling you now so you will remember two things about option button first is the value property second one is the caption property right so apart from that you only have labels text boxes and you have a command button right third is a very very important control here which i have used this is called as microsoft flex grid this is how it looks this is a local one ms stands for microsoft flex grid right so actually this particular uh, tool was not there in this particular toolbox this was not there so i had to include them so these controls which will are not there in this particular toolbox and the ones which you import are all known as activex controls so how do we import these activex controls so listen carefully click on project go to components right all these controls are known as your activex controls so i have chosen here microsoft flex grid control 6.0 so the minute i choose it and click on apply then i have to click on okay then that particular control will appear here 
right so these these are not the basic controls only the basic controls will be already available okay so these controls which are not available has to be imported from components how do you do it you have to click on projects you have to click on components in components whichever component you wanted to choose you choose that we wanted microsoft flux grid so we have chosen that then i have to click on apply and then i have to click ok right so these controls are known as your active x controls the controls which are not present here which has to be imported are all part of the active x control you can see this here okay right so i have done that already so what i have done i have clicked on that and i have simply drawn it here on the screen right so this is what i have done so this is you get it here right this is your microsoft flux grid in this flux grid only thing i have changed here in the properties is we can do it by changing the property or you can do it by changing the code so anyway it is fine so what i have done is i have used the properties so i've changed the property the property i changed here is columns i wanted to make it five columns I need five columns so I'm going to the column property and I'm going to make it five so no ma'am I want to do it in the code yeah you can do it in the code during form load itself you can say ms flux grid one dot co ls is equal to five so that also is okay anything is fine okay ms flux grid one is the name of the flux grid so dot property is going to be co ls so you can say dot co ls is equal to five in the code that also works right so this is pretty much it the design actually has three new you have learned three new controls today one is your image box two is your option button and three is your microsoft flux grid right so let let us see how it what happens during the execution and then we will go to the coding part and execute it i want it let's say a dairy milk and I have to say how much I want as soon as I say how much I want I have to click on the dispense snack button so just assume that the uh, snack is going to fall okay from the shelf it is going to come to you yes so the snack which is dispensed is going to be dairy milk I have told two quantity the price of it is 25 rupees into two so you get the total amount here as 50 rupees so we have to calculate it so what I did I clicked on dairy milk then I have specify the quantity in one of the text boxes when i click on this button dispense snack what it should do it should find out which button is clicked which option button is clicked and what was the text in that that text has to come to this particular text box so the code also i will tell you it is nothing but say option this is option button one this is option button two so option button value dot true if it is going to be true then you are going to say this particular text box let us say text box three so text is equal to option button three dot caption right so text text three dot text will be equal to if it is dairy milk then it is going to be option two dot caption so this is the caption property has to be displayed here so i clicked dairy milk as soon as i click dairy milk it will have a price you have to put that price into quantity will give you the amount this is what you want to write it in the coding all this coding will be done in this particular button so i can add more snacks right and i have to say dispense snack then you keep getting it and as you uh, your bill increases you can see the total amount also in one of the text boxes right okay so this is what we are going to do to do this what is the coding that is required let us see <coughs> first as soon as i execute you can already see that's s number name price quantity amount and all are already there okay so during form load event which means when my form loads my form is loaded this is my form is loaded when it loads what should happen that code is the first code which we had we have written so double click on form to see what it is right so we need all these things s number s name price quantity and amount Okay. for which you have to remember one property of ms flux grid it is nothing but ms flux grid one dot text matrix text matrix is the name of the property so the matrix is, uh, text matrix is going to have row column row number and column right so in row zero 
I wanted S number. These headings I wanted. So row zero, column zero, I want S number. So it starts from zero comma zero. Zero comma one, I wanted name. Zero comma two, I wanted price and so on. These are the headings I wanted. These headings when when I load the form, right? So I'm going to initialize serial number as one, and I'm going to also have this R number, which is nothing but your row number as zero, right? So this I'm going to do during form load. Then. Exit button, you know it is going to be coding is nothing but end, end, end is the coding. The only button which is left out here is the dispense button. So everything happens in dispense button only. So what are we doing in dispense button? We already have SL number. We have actually initialized it to one. It is declared here. So these are all global variables which are declared outside the procedure. Right. So serial number is integer, row, uh, row number is integer, total bill and amount. Amount. Okay, it's nothing but quantity into price. Total bill is adding all the amount together will be your total bill. These are again two more uh, integers we have declared. So if you wanted to have it uh, as double, you can go ahead and add where you can use decimal places. Uh, here I have used it as integers. It is up to you, right? Yeah, yeah. In this particular procedure, I am going to have another variable called s name. Okay, S name is going to be the, the product name. We are going to uh, say it is going to be S name. Right. So the row 0, you already know it was the heading, S number, name and all those things. So row 1 will have the first row. Say for example, I want KitKat. I am going to say I need two KitKats, dispense snack. So before that, what you see here is going to be row 0. So now, as soon as that snack is dispensed, you got the row 1. When did you get that? After clicking this button. So in the coding, what I am writing? So row is equal to row plus one. Before it was zero, now it has become one. Right? Text three, you are simply clearing it just to make sure that no text is there. Or if it there were a text previously there, then you have to clear it. So which is text three? Text three is this text box. Right? This is going to be text three. You are first clearing it, and then you are going to put the value. What value will come there? So now we have to find out what value should come in text three. If option one dot value is equal to true, which means if I have clicked the first option, then that option's caption will be my S name, right? If I have clicked the first option, which means if it is KitKat, then the S name becomes its caption, and then S price becomes twenty rupees. I am just assuming that KitKat is twenty rupees. If I click on option two, then my S name will be option two's caption, which will be dairy milk, and this is dairy milk's price. Similarly, Perk and Munch. Right, so we are fixing the price and we are also taking the caption name and putting it in a variable called S name. S name is nothing but S name is going to be your text three's content. Okay, so once you fix the price for everything and you are fixing the price and we are fixing the S name, both are fixed now. Your S name is also there, your price is there. Now your text three becomes S name. So dispense snack is nothing but whatever snack you have clicked. So that particular option button's caption will be your text three. So the text three is nothing but your dispense snack is nothing but whichever option button you have clicked, that button's caption, right? So we got all that. So we got all the values we needed. Only thing is we have to fill up the flux grid. So we are going to again say, we are going to add one more row, ms flux grid one dot rows is equal to ms flux grid dot rows plus one you're adding one to it so two properties you should remember one is text matrix the other one is rows so if you're going to use columns also you want to initialize it to five you can do that mx flux grid one dot cols is equal to five i told you initially that also you can do so these are the three properties you can remember about ms flux grid okay so same way as we did the row number row zero we had these headings right in row 0 similarly here we have the headings in row 0 similarly we are going to put values inside those rows right so this is the first row in those columns we are going to put the values so first row will be row 1 column will remain the same so column uh, 0 will be your serial number so serial number we are initialized to 1 so it will be 1 so for every item you use you are going to add your serial number is going to increment your serial number is equal to serial number plus 1 right so that will be your serial number so whichever option you have clicked that becomes your s name so s name is here s name will also be in the text three also you are showing the s name here also in the flex grid you are showing the s name then comes the price you have fixed the price here depending on which option button you have chosen that price you have fixed that price will come here 
right so what is the last one nothing but your text one so what is your text one if you see your design this is going to be your text one which is nothing but your quantity so your text one is going to be your quantity right so your quantity is going to come in say column 3 row 1 column 3 what is left out last is the amount is left out right so the amount value is going to come in column 4 how did you find the amount amount is equal to value of text 1 dot text text 1 dot text as i showed you is your quantity right and then you are multiplying that with price it gives you the amount so that amount comes where in first row fourth column right so you keep adding the amount to the total bill total bill is equal to total bill plus amount so you keep doing that so you get the total bill total bill should be in a text box the text box is nothing but text the text box is text 2 which is text 2 going to be the amount text box right that's going to be your amount text box right so we have filled everything for the first row similarly all the rows you keep adding the item so next item when you add serial number becomes serial number plus 1 right and also you are clearing the text box 1 why are we clearing text box 1 and text box 3 if you see here because see in the design after adding one value you wanted to clear this right text boxes so that you can new values can be added in quantity also new value should be added so it has to be cleared here also dispense snack should be cleared the previous value should go and then the new value should come right let us execute so that let's see if you are going to understand it see, i'm going to first click on kitkat let's say i want four of it dispense snack then i'm clicking on munch right i want three of it dispense snack then i want perk i want only one of it dispense snack so what you have these serial numbers you can see that it is increasing all the option buttons captions have come here as yes name the price is here according to the quantity the amount is calculated as you have the amount the total amount will be added okay the total payable amount now will be 205 right this is what this program does so it may look big but it is actually simple because here only we are going to have the same if condition again and again same condition four times right so that only makes the code look bigger similarly here you have the values inside the flux grid that again makes it big here you have the title of the flux grid so that again is like five lines of coding so this is what is making this program look big but it is a simple and very interesting program hope you have all understood this program Thank you.